solve this one first. Recognize this? Yeah. It's from the story where the goblins tricked the Mad Hunter. It looks like it, but it's different, right? Can you check the book? Well, here it is. Why do you think she changed the picture? I don't know. Maybe it's a message. Like, the differences between the two mean something. Hmm. Something about Marianne, right? Since she's the princess? Yeah. Why don't we try to find them all and then see if it makes any sense? Okay. Spot the differences. It moves. Oh. Some of these parts are buttons. Why do you think she added that castle in the background? See the color of the flag? It could be the gold lady's castle. The mad hunter still has two hands here. So this was either before the gold- Huh. No goblins. Yeah. The princess is running away from the mad hunter. Who was sent by the gold lady, according to- That's it. Whoa. What's in there? Pictures, letters. I can't believe she was a ballet dancer. Marianne. And a good one, too. God, that's so not her. Oh, poor thing. Why would she keep an old drawing of a pet in here? Did you know she studied engineering? No, but it looks like she changed her major to visual arts. I don't think she actually got it changed. The paper's not signed and it's all wrinkled, like someone tried to throw it away. this guy been any more cryptic? Wow, I don't think I've ever seen a picture of her that young. I think that's her mom in the background. You think the guy with her is Brent? From the letter? I would guess so. The gold lady. That was definitely her mom. So, did Marianne grow up kinda rich? Maybe. Would have been nice to have some of that. Tyler, see that little light? I think we need to solve this one next. There's the gold lady again. She's all over the board. There was a figure of her in that stash by the Mad Hunter painting, right? Oh, yeah. So maybe all of this is related to what we found in there. Hey, I can move the piece next to the gold lady. All these pictures. They look like images from Marianne's life before Delos. Don't the princess dancing, playing violin, spinning wool. I guess this is stuff she did. The wise princess looks like she's trying to run away. And she's being... Huh. What's the gold lady do? Is that it? It's opening. What's in there this time? Is that Carol? Yeah, and Sam. Look at him. He's so young and happy. Wow. She worked for a watchmaker in Juno before she moved to Delos. No one. Oh, so that's how she found the house. Her father. What the hell? Marianne was pregnant in 1992, before she even got here. Before us? Do we have a long lost sibling out there somewhere? It's possible, but she could have given it up or miscarried, who knows? Yeah, you're right. Do you think we could track down her father? You mean the grandfather she never told us about? I don't think I want to. 
You're not at all excited about having more family. You saw the letter. I don't think we want any part of that. Fine. Let's keep digging. Salmonberry Park. Huh. Is that some kind of commune? Looks like it. So weird to imagine her living in a community like that. With, you know, other people. The weirdest part is how they all seem to love her. Where was prom queen Marianne when the whole town was turning on us? What's this? Hmm. Some sort of map? That's the gold lady's castle. What's that plant thing on top? Oh, those are definitely salmonberry flowers. Hey. Some sort of clock? This is the princess's house. This looks like a dinner party with the old bear and the very old beaver. Yes. What's in there? Another letter? The princess's laws. Is this from the Book of Goblins? Not that I know of. Well, sure looks like it could be. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure and her title. That was the story she read us that night. God, it makes sense now. Yeah, she got pregnant. And she ran away to start a new life. made her way to Delos Crossing, where she was finally happy. But then the baby died. I can't even imagine how she must have felt. She left everything behind, built a whole new life for him. was just gone. I guess having us helps her move on. But when it looked like we were going to be taken away, she snapped. She just couldn't lose any more children. It really wasn't anything we did. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with all this. I don't either, but... All I wanted was to understand what happened to her. And now I do. Yeah. But we still haven't seen what's in that chest. Okay, so how do we open it? All right, should be easy enough. <laughs> Did it just get darker in here? Ollie, she, uh, she noticed. I was her son. Wow. 
Why does she have a photo of that tree locked in here? Is that... Leo Ronan. Why didn't she tell us about him? Why didn't she tell us any of this? I mean, it's fucking terrible. That's why. Allie, did we do the right thing opening this? We did. It's better we know what happened, even... Even if it's hard. And there's one more thing we need to see. Are you sure? Yes. Come on, let's go to the dock. It's time to finish this. Hey, a now that we're done with blanket. the important stuff, maybe we can take a crack at these. The very old beavers repair list. That's the story where the princess's house gets damaged by a storm and the animals help her fix it. Yeah. What did they do to fix it again? She fixed the planks that were blown off the walls. Or not. Wait. Actually, I'm not sure. All right. Damn. That must have been rough on Eddie. Yeah, he, um, he doesn't really like to talk about her. Crafty goblins' good deeds. Of course. The goblins had to help out the creatures of the forest to pay off their debt to the pelican. Uh, well, what did they do? You know, I don't really remember. They broke open the beehive for the bear. They gave the stalwart moose a good scratch on the back. They hugged the princess when she was crying. Nailed it. Our lives would have been so different if their friendship hadn't gone to shit. The old bear's gifts for the princess. I'm totally blanking on that story. What did he give her again? What? Don't we open up the book and check? Fresh caught salmon? A handful of ripe berries? 
A newly bloomed bluebell? Nice. Man, he had it bad. Just couldn't let go. The crafty goblin's loot. That's from the princess and the two thieves. I drew the original. And I distinctly remember drawing that cake, which is arguably the best part of that illustration. All right, Picasso. Then you probably remember what the goblins stole in that story, huh? Uh... I'm pretty sure they stole some eggs. Maybe they took some of the princess's fruit? What if they took some spoons? That's it. I always wondered where that drawing went. She said it was her favorite and then one day it just disappeared. <laughs> 